Hello friends, this is Arun from the INTP YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to see the game between Aaron Imzovich vs Zigbet Tarash. This game was played in St. Petersburg in the year 1914. Nimzovich had the white pieces and opens up with d4. Tarash plays d5. Now Nimzovich plays knight to f3, developing the piece. Tarash plays c5. Now white plays c4. Now Tarash continued with the e6. So Zigbet Tarash is playing his own Tarash defense. Now white continues with the e3. Black plays knight to f6, developing the piece. Now white continues with the bishop to d3, developing the bishop and preparing to castle. Now black plays knight to c6. White continues with castling kingside. Now Tarash played bishop to d6, developing the bishop and preparing to castle. Now white plays b3. The idea behind the move b3 is to develop the bishop to the b2 square. Now Tarash castles, white plays bishop to b2, developing his queenside bishop. Now Tarash played b6. Black also wants to develop his bishop to the b7 square. Now white plays knight b to d2, Tarash plays bishop to b7, developing his queenside bishop. Now white plays rook to c1. Now Tarash plays queen to e7. Developing the queen and connecting the rooks. Black has completed its development. Now white plays pawn captures pawn. Black recaptures pawn with the e into d. Now white plays knight to h4. So the idea behind the pawn captures pawn is to bring this knight to the f5 square, forking the queen and the bishop. So in our game, we have knight to h4. Now black simply plays g6. Preventing knight to f5. Now white plays knight to f3. So you can see that a knight maneuver is just a waste of time. Now Tarash continues with the rook a d8. White plays pawn captures pawn. Black recapture pawn with the b into c5. Now white plays bishop to b5. Now Tarash continued with the knight to e4. Now white played a strange move, bishop into knight, giving up the bishop pair. Black recaptures the bishop with the bishop into c6. Now white plays queen to c2. If white tries b4 to weaken the black's pawn structure, then black will continue with the bishop to b5, attacking the rook. If pawn captures pawn, then knight captures pawn on c5, rook to e1. Then knight to d3 forks the two rooks winning the exchange. So let's go back to our game. In our game we have queen to c2. Now white plays knight captures d2. In this position Nimzovich recaptured the knight with a knight captures knight. If queen captures knight then black will continue with a d4. If pawn captures pawn then bishop captures knight damaging the white's pawn structure white has to recapture with a pawn captures bishop now queen to h4 a threatening checkmate with a winning position let's go back to our game in our game we have knight captures knight now black continues with a d4 in this position it's good to play e4 but uh, white plays pawn captures pawn Allowing black to start the fireworks with bishop into h2 sec. Tarash sacrifices his bishop to start the attack on the white king. White played king captures bishop. Now comes queen to h4 check. Now white plays king to g1. Now comes the another killer move. Bishop captures g2. Threatening queen to h1 checkmate. In the game we have f3. If king captures bishop. Then we have queen to g4 check. After king to h1, we have rook to d5, threatening rook to h5 checkmate. If queen captures, then 
not capturing the queen but rook to h5 check after the forcing moves queen captures rook queen captures queen king to g2 queen to g5 check king to h1 black can play queen captures knight with a winning position let's go back to our game in our game we have f3 the idea behind the move f3 is to give white an escape square and also the knight can be played to the e4 square so the pawn on f3 provides a knight a supporting square on the e4 now tarash continued with the rook f8 taking control over the open e file white plays knight to e4 now comes queen h1 check in the game white plays king to f2 which is forced now black plays bishop captures rook now white plays d5 now black continues with the f5 attacking the knight now not moving the knight back nimso which continues with the queen to c3 threatening queen to g7 checkmate but there is no time tarash continued with the queen g2 check king to e3 now comes the another shocking move rook into e4 check white plays pawn captures rook now we have the f4 sacrificing a pawn to open up the f file king captures a pawn on f4 now we have rook to f8 check white continues with the king to e5 if king to e3 then rook to f3 is a checkmate in our game we have king to e5 now black plays queen to h2 check white continues with the king to e6 now tarash played rook e8 check in this position if king f6 then queen to f4 is a checkmate in our game we have after rook e8 king to d7 now it is black to play in this position and to deliver a checkmate in one move please pause the video and try to find the checkmate in one for black okay the move is bishop to b5 checkmate what a brilliant game played by legendary zigbet tarash so if you like this video please hit the like button and share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this bye for now